Welcome to Receipt and Analysis. In today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to calculate standardized root mean square residual during SEM in MS. Actually, MS does not include uh, SR, MR as a part of standard output. However, you can calculate it using a built in plugin in MS. So this is the MS we have. Uh, first of all, we need to select the data. Just we need to open the file. Okay, this is the data we have. First of all, we need to uh, draw a model so that we can calculate standardized root mean square residual. And to draw a MS model, we need to select this option. And from here, we can just uh, make the size according to our requirement. Okay, I think this is fine. One, two, three, four, five. And then just change the direction. And we can also make a little bit changes. Okay, and then uh, we need to first draw for transfer of training. This consists of six items. One, two, three, four, and five. But actually, we have six items, so we need to draw it. Okay. And then we can rename okay. and after that uh, what we can do uh, we can draw another one for our next variable and also we can copy the whole one using this option. Right, but uh, from here we need to put the relevant items. For example, we already draw for TD, and now we need to draw for MT. That consists of seven items. MT one, MT two. Sorry. Four, five, and this is six. Since we have seven items, so we need to draw another one. Yes. Now it's all right. We can also draw like if we want to draw it again, but just to save time, we can just copy and just it become easy for us to draw the model that consists of so many constructs. So to let rename it because it is empty. Uh, now what we will do uh, as well we will go it and then let just oh, just assign a name to error terms. We can also do it using our plugin name unobserved variables so that we can you know we can also do the manually but it's a good option that you can use this plugin now let's go and analysis properties and from the output whatever we require standardized and residual moment for instance and just calculate so we are here we have an error the observed variable td is represented by an ellipse in the path diagram so it 
often happen if we are using the same uh, I mean, same name as we are using for the item so it is always better just to use different name for the construct so let maybe we can do tt dash or maybe tt dot and in the same way let add a dot here so that uh, we would not get this error and also in order to look at it better we can also just click resize so that it will look better <laughs> and then again just calculate when we will click calculate now we can have this uh, standardized ms output but the problem is it uh, here is, uh, in the estimate if you see we can this and then model fit and you can see we can have rmr but not standardize uh, RMR. In order to calculate standardize RMR, we need to use this plugin, standardize RMR. So click it. And when you just click it, this, uh, this tab will appear and then you need to go to calculate estimate. When you will click calculate estimate and you see uh, it has calculated standardized RMR. So it, in actual it's just a one uh, step process. Just go to plugin and then click standardize RMR. A tab will open and then simply just uh, click in this option calculate estimate you will find standardize on and off so this is how you can calculate standardize on and off in MS. thanks for watching